Dawnless Days has just released with a brand new update and it is amazing. So what I'm showing you right here right now is a battle of the five armies. Very similar to scripted historical scenario battles that we've had in the past. It reminds me of Attila's historical scenario battles as well. And what I can say right now is if this is what we have right now then the future is going to be very very exciting because this is one of the best scenario battles I've played. I really enjoyed my time in it and I really think you really need to check it out because it's an amazing amazing scenario and I cannot wait to see what we get with Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith, whatever. The modders in Dawnless Days have done their job and they deserve the recognition for it. And of course, we all give recognition to Dawnless Days, but to the wider community, to the wider Total War community, you are really missing out on this. This is such a fantastic update to this wonderful mod that you'll be amazed. And right now, there's 15 new battle maps. There's entire rosters that have been reworked. The entire Dwarven roster of Erebor has been reworked. That means you get characters from Lord of the Rings, you get Gimli, you get Dane Ironfoot, you get so many other characters. Assuming that is, but you can read the entire list of changes and updates on the Nexus page, which contains full information on what you need to figure out what's been added and what's not. There's been a huge variety of 15 new maps, land battles, sieges, let's go to uh, port battles, let's go to there's so much more in this update that i would love to showcase but i'm just going to showcase what i've captured what i've given and just give you my thoughts so of course we have gimli Balin, and king day nine foot which is absolutely awesome i can't wait to see until we get aragon or something like that we also have new battle maps we have of course we have isengard the big bad Addy of all. We have Atherdom, we have Emin, Aaron, Dale. We got a lot of Dale maps. We have Draffenberg, Dumberg, Kalembel, Ethering, we got Milond, Lonminar, Karandros, and And we got Unfortified Town Assault, you know, Karis Itland, Lonhold, plus We also have Tile Map map generation. Now that basically means that when you go to the custom uh, battle map you will obviously you will obviously be able to choose where you want to fight etc but we have two new landmarks ramas echo and heneth anun we've got farmland we've got terrain variation added there's been mountains that have been revamped for the eric and moria maps and also we have a custom region generation around ithlehen which sounds great plus there's also a secret that you should really know that custom siege ladders that is yes we have custom siege ladders in this game so that's awesome and then the other thing is we have head projectiles for onigas of isengard dogodur and mordor and goblins so whenever you're doing a siege at dawnless days do be sure to use head projectiles <laughs> now we also got a dedicated crew for goblin onigas we got all that type of stuff as well we got a lot of balancing, we got a lot of unit rosters. The update might be a bit small, but it's quite substantial in what it delivers. And anyway, sooner or later, these maps are going to be on the campaign map at some point. You know, at some point. Because there's so many new maps I'm thinking that might be on the way. And I've been playing with Paul John Paul, and he does amazing Dawnless Days content. And I've been playing with him, and whenever we played multiplayer, we used to play in the same uh, battle maps, and, and I was like, you know, we really need new battle maps. And if you haven't heard of this mod, if you haven't played this mod, you're doing yourself a disservice. Go and get this mod right now. I urge you, this mod is going to replace your entire social life. And if that sounds appeasing to you, and you are a Lord of the Rings fan, then this is the mod for you and if you never tried Lord of the Rings this mod and the new update of course is a great great way to get immersed into the Tolkien lore so to say the least but still 
Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. I will see you on the next one. And yes, more content is coming for the days from my side and I'll be making more. So, see ya.